The process of releasing updates is not a simple one. It consists of multiple stages. In the language of developers, any game update is referred to as a release. This should not be confused with the official release of the game. The process starts with the assignment of the tasks and ends with the announcement. A new update has been released. But what happens in between those two points? A release can include several tasks. These can be new features, new functionalities, bug fixes or a combination of these. The lead developers advise on which releases should be implemented and the product manager will then decide which of these will be implemented and in which order. Before the final version of the release reaches the master, which is the main server that runs the closed beta test, a pre-update version is released on a separate release candidate server. This is the first step of the process and usually takes about one or two days. Our testers then check the release candidate for critical errors and to see whether it does what it should be doing properly. In the meantime, the community manager prepares a list with the upcoming changes and patch notes to notify the players. If the test gives positive results, the changes reach the primary server. Of course, we must still be prepared for hot fixes. A hot fix is an adjustment to fix unforeseen problems in critical cases. Once we've made sure everything works as intended, the update release task is closed and the development team prepares for the next update. Tanky X applies the concept of continuous releases, which is why the closed beta testers are experiencing so many restarts. Each restart is an update, a release with a number of small changes or server maintenance. Daily releases allow us to quickly assess the impact of that change and adjust accordingly. So why don't we announce every single small update we release? We split releases into three categories – functional, technical and experimental. The technical releases involve changes to the client and servers. For example, adding new logs into the game to help us analyze player activity. Experimental releases are the ones that won't necessarily make it into the game. First, they need to be stress tested. Functional releases change the functionality of the game in a way that players see. That includes new content, graphics and interface updates, as well as effects and animations, equipment balance and others. This is the only type of release that is accompanied by patch notes. It's only been 20 days since the closed beta quest kicked off and the milestone of 1,350,000 tanks destroyed has already been hit. This means that three rewards have already been secured, with the fourth milestone approaching fast. So here's what's next. The fifth milestone of the beta quest will be a new feature, avatars. This feature will allow you to set an avatar for yourself. It will be displayed next to your nickname on the battle scoreboard, chat and profile. We will start developing the rewards as soon as the milestone is reached and we'll add them once they are done. The sixth milestone is a unique hull modification, an awesome modification to one of the most popular hulls in the CBT. The sight of it will fill your opponents with fear and awe. As the number of testers grows, each successive milestone requires more tanks to be destroyed. To see the number needed to reach the next milestone and to check the overall progress, visit the closed beta quest website. Remember, beta quest participants will receive their rewards at the start of the open beta test and these rewards will be theirs to keep, even after the release of the game. Like this video and stay up to date by subscribing to our channels. See you next time!